Hey guys, welcome back for another body language lesson. Today we are learning the art of eye contact. So basically, there are two things that lead to bad eye contact, and they are simply too much eye contact or too little eye contact. Too much eye contact is when you stare at someone for too long. And too much eye contact is bad, first of all, because it's awkward. And it can make you appear intimidating. Welcome to my office. I can see that you've been here recently. You took something and you didn't replace it. On the other hand, we don't want too little eye contact because it can make you seem untrustworthy. You stole the diamonds and you were off to start a comfortable new life. Nervous. Or even uninterested. Okay. Movie starts at five o'clock tonight. Uh huh, what? Good eye contact is really important in the United States because it shows trustworthiness, confidence, and it creates a connection between you and the person you are talking to. Let's look at how to use eye contact properly in an intimate and casual setting. Here, Jeff is talking to Lauren about his day. Notice that he's looking directly into Lauren's eyes while he's speaking, but he's also breaking eye contact at times. Lauren isn't talking, but you can tell she's listening intently because she's also keeping eye contact. And she's also nodding and using facial expressions to show she's listening to Jeff and interested in what he's saying. Now there is one time where it's okay to have too much eye contact, and that is when you want to show someone you are attracted to them. In group settings, you want to make sure to meet each person's gaze equally so that each person feels included. Watch M as she greets each person individually and looks at each person in the eyes as she greets them. During the meeting, M is sure to make eye contact with the person who's speaking, and when it's her turn to speak, she looks at each person in the group. This helps her to make a connection with all the people in the meeting. Okay, so the same type of eye contact can apply when you're giving a formal presentation to a room full of people. Even though Lauren is speaking to a big group, notice how she makes eye contact with every person in the room. This makes the presentation more intimate and helps Lauren connect with her audience. If you're using notes for your presentation, remember to use eye contact. Do you see how Lauren glances at her notes but still makes eye contact with each person in the room? You should never read from your notes during a presentation. Even if you use notes, you should know your speech well enough to make eye contact. Lauren is also using facial expression to show her audience the mood of her speech. She is smiling and serious at different times. If you have questions about eye contact, be sure to comment below. See you next time. Did you like this video? Give us a thumbs up so we can make more videos. And don't forget to subscribe below so you can catch everything we're doing each week. Ring that bell so you know when there's a new video. And we'll see you in the classroom.